All right. Well, let's get started. So thanks, everybody. It is uh, 1 58 Eastern time. My name is Cameron. I am the uh, product director for Property Boost. Uh, I am based in the Toronto, Canada area here for uh, Inside Real Estate, and I'm happy to have you join me to go through Property Boost. The goal of today's webinar uh, is for me to help you understand how to use Property Boost, what it is, um, how it can make an impact on your business, how to do some best practices for follow-up from Property Boost leads, um, and we'll make sure that we can we can get everybody up to speed and getting using this great product because it is a really fantastic product to use uh, to generate leads for yourself. So uh, first and foremost, what is Property Boost? Property Boost is an advertising program that leverages Facebook lead form ads to post to Facebook. And these are really great advertisements for the purpose of uh, promoting a listing because they uh, will automatically populate um, with contact information from the prospective lead. So um, somebody's going to come along, they're going to see right in their Facebook feed, they're scrolling through, um, maybe they're looking for other things, and they come across one of your ads, which looks just something like this on the left-hand side. And when they click through to learn more, they're going to be prompted to enter in their contact information. And the really fantastic thing about this is that this contact information will be pre-populated right from the uh, Facebook uh, profile of the prospective lead. Um, and they're more, much more likely to sort of hit submit, move that through. So you get really good quality leads coming from these lead form ads as a result. And then obviously they'll see your privacy policy at the end there. So as you can see with this example, we're capturing first name, last name, email address, and then we've got phone number right down at the bottom there. Uh, that's sort of strategic. We put that phone number toward the bottom because it's more likely somebody will, will submit if they don't uh, get asked for their phone number first off. So really great that you get these uh, leads coming in with phone numbers, mobile phone numbers more often than not. So you might be asking yourself, why, can't, how, why don't I just create a post of my own? Well, of course you can sort of create a post, you can create a boosted post on your own, write the ad, purchase it, define your audience, go through all these steps. But it can be time consuming, a little tricky. We make it really easy for you with these property boost ads because really we make it uh, quite uh, simple, a couple of clicks you can do that. And I'll demonstrate this for you in a minute. So with a uh, Facebook post, you know, you can post this on Facebook, but you could be, um, you know, uh, really sort of casting a bit of a, a, a wide net in terms of who sees it with property boost, the audience is much more refined and is leveraging Facebook's algorithm to really define that uh, and bringing it down using that complex AI to make sure it's being seen by the right people. Um, the ads created by property boost are they're also highly optimized. So we sort of define what photo we use, the text, sorry, the, the photo and the text combination, those are all optimized in the background to make sure that the ads are running and generating leads and, and getting some really good performance. So a standard Facebook post uh, with no boosting, that's something that you're gonna be able to do, but you're only gonna be seen by your sphere. So really what you wanna look, do is compare this against doing uh, Facebook um, advertisements where you're gonna go out and create that advertisement on your own. So unlike creating uh, an ad for yourself, this is fully automated for you. Property Boost is fully automated. We take care of all the complex stuff. So there's no learning how to hook up your, um, you know, your KV core to Facebook using Zapier. There's no complexity of learning how to do lead ad forms. You don't have to upload your photos. This is all done for you automatically so that you don't have to worry about uh, doing any of that stuff. Um, I'm gonna just stop my video. Um, so we even send emails for you every time that you have a new listing. So you may have seen those emails coming through in your, um, in your, uh, your email box, um, congratulating on your new listings and, and having you, um, you know, go in and create those ads. I'll show you an example of one of those in a second, uh, but there's lots of ways where you can get these started. The first way, uh, we'll go through these. Uh, the first way to get things started with these is to go into your KV Core database, KV Core application, and you're gonna scroll down to where you see Marketplace in the left-hand side. Marketplace, if you haven't been there before, it's a really fantastic resource. There are tons of add-ons and components that go along with KV Core to help you with a lot of things with your business. If you wanna find uh, property business really easily, click on that lead button at the very top of the um, at the top of the form there, you'll see in the filters, and then you'll see the property boost icon show up on, um, right there with that little rocket ship showing you what that looks like. The other way that you can get there and that you can boost a property, and this is sort of a little easier too, is that if you go into your listings panel inside of KV Core, you'll be able to actually select whatever property you have inside of your, your listings panel and click on the boost property, and that will uh, actually boost your property um, uh, right there, take you right into the KV Core workflow. 
Uh, and even if you dive into the actual listing detail page, so if we click into a listing detail page and click on boost property, it'll actually allow us to go in through that, uh, that uh, as well. So I'll demonstrate this for you. Uh, the last but not least is that you may see these emails coming through. So you'll see an email come through into your inbox. Um, you know, it's linked with your KV Core account, um, showing you that we've already set up the beginnings of a property boost for you. You click on that, finish your ad um, button, it'll take you right into the property boost workflow. So it was really, really simple. So as promised, I'm going to demonstrate for you how we're going to go about doing this. Okay, so we click on marketplace. So we've uh, uh, here on the uh, uh, under KV Core, I've clicked on where it says marketplace. I can now click on this leads button at the top here just to filter down to all of the products that are available to me uh, just on the, uh, the lead generation side of things. And then you can see property boost right here and click sign in there. The other way, uh, the other route that I'll show you is just from the listings page in KV4. Uh, I'll click here and I will select a listing and you can see that I've got this boost property button right here. So I can click on, the, on any listing in my in my listings page, click on boost property, and that'll jump right into uh, right into the boost um, as well. Um, so uh, once you do click into there, it's going to take you into property boost, and this is the property boost interface for you that gives you an idea of uh, what this looks like. So. Starting at the very, very top here, I have three different choices for the type of ad that I want to create. Um, how you go about creating these is relatively uh, the same across the three different, but I'll just explain them really simply. A listing boost is the type of boost you're going to do with a brand new listing uh, that you have coming out. Could be also be an older listing that you have kicking around, but you want to just sort of promote that property um, as a, uh, you know, on its own with, uh, without any special kind of um, uh, augmentation to it. Um, whether it's your own property or another property, it could be a, a listing from somebody else in your office. As long as you have the permission from the listing agent to do that boosting, just like you would with any other sort of marketing efforts you would do, uh, leveraging somebody else's listing, you get that permission and you can go ahead and do that. You've also got an open house. So maybe you're running an open house on somebody's behalf. So you're going to try and generate some um, generate some, some business for yourself. You can click on open house uh, or you can click on price reduction. So price reduction would be when you've got a new price coming through uh, on this and you want to sort of promote that that price has just changed. Uh, you can go ahead and do a special boost just for that. We just include some different text in the ad. Okay, so uh, on a listing, it's really, really simple. I can do a couple of things here. First thing I'm going to direct your attention to is I can actually click on the image here, which will pull up an image selector. So maybe I don't like the lead image that's on the listing. I can pick a different one. All of the photos that are available to us from that listing are available, so I can change it to whatever I want. Um, you know, typically you want to make sure that it is a list uh, picture of the front of the house. Uh, if that front of the house doesn't look so hot and you've got a really fantastic kitchen or feature inside, by all means, you can change the listing to, um, you know, to generate, uh, to uh, change the ad to have a different photo um, at your choice. Um, the other thing that you can do is you'll see right here on the right hand side, this is actually a sample of what that ad's going to look like on Facebook. Um, so it tells you a little bit of information. This header text, this, uh, you know, just listed three bedroom, two bathroom in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. This is highly optimized. Um, this is the type of information that, uh, that we know works in terms of this ad and what you want to add into this. Uh, so this is sort of the basics of what you're going to see, um, what it's going to look like. The learn more button is where people are going to click to generate a lead. And then you've got this a couple of buttons here at the top where you can click on add preview. That's just so I can see the difference between what it's going to look like on a desktop computer versus on a mobile. Okay, a couple more things, and then I'll show you the open houses. But this sort of gives you an idea here um, on the website. Uh, what's going to happen is by default, um, we're going to direct any traffic to see this listing on your default website. But say you have a, a multiple different websites, maybe you have a website uh, on your KV Core configuration for luxury properties and one for condos, etc. You can actually direct the traffic to different um, uh, website addresses just by clicking on this button and then you'll be able to choose from a drop down. I've only got one address, so it's only going to allow me to choose that default site. Oops. The other thing that I'll point out here is with this targeting. So with targeting, uh, what we're going to do is we're by default going to target uh, sort of a radius of people that are within 15 miles of this address by default. But if you want to change it, um, you can actually change the targeting and enter the name of a different city. Um, so maybe I know that I want to draw 
uh, bring people in from Green Bay, Wisconsin, for example, I can change the targeting on this ad. So it's going to target people in the city of Green Bay versus the versus, versus a 15 mile radius. Where this comes in really handy is when you've got recreational properties, lake houses, beachfront, that kind of stuff, where you're going to be bringing people in from outside of the local market of that property. You can sort of target them outside there. And then last but not least, you've got your compliance tax. Now, this is a really cool feature here for those of you that need to add additional details inside of the um, uh, inside of the prop uh, inside of the advertisement to match your requirements from your MLS. So if you do have to add anything else, you can type in up to 100 characters of additional information that will be added to the ad as well to help you conform with those advertising rules. Uh, pricing is really simple. You can boost uh, ads anywhere between three days and up to five weeks. Um, what I would recommend we do as a starting point is look at, at about a week. Uh, that gives you enough time for the ad to ramp up, get started, run it for a, a good amount of time. Um, it's the most popular purchases for a one week ad at $60, uh, but you can pick and choose how long you want to run that for. Um, so that's, uh, that's up to you, but I, I'm going to pick my ad. I'm going to run this for three weeks. I enter in my billing information, name, address, your billing uh, address, I should say here, entering your credit card number. And when you hit complete checkout, the cool thing about this is that we're actually gonna save, you have the opportunity to save your credit card information as well. So that in the event that you wanna come back and do another boost, you can, um, you can do that from, the, uh, from here without having to enter in your credit card information again. Hit on complete checkout. This purchase should go through, providing uh, everything is smiling down upon me today. And of course it is, so we're gonna get this to come through. So we've got, uh, thank you, our order has been confirmed. And this is a really cool feature here. So Property Boost is really great for you to generate leads and activity on your listings that you have out there in the wild. But the other thing that's really great for it is helping to um, generate listings for yourself and also uh, in your listing presentation, it helps you to set, stand apart from other agents. And it also helps you to actually share with the listing uh, seller of the listing that, uh, that you're doing something for them. So by putting in the seller's email address and phone number here, they'll actually get a regular report coming to them uh, over the duration of the ad, showing them how that ad is performing. So it's really sort of helping you show that you're uh, holding up your end of the bargain, as it were, and doing what you said you were going to do by generating traffic for their website. So I'm going to click on uh, the skip here, um, and that's going to take me back to my dashboard. So once you've completed your ad, it's going to show up on your dashboard. So here's the one that I just created down here on the bottom. You can see my, uh, my photo that I picked. You can see the address, and then you can see all of the other ads that you had running. Um, and I'll come back to why this is important in the end, but uh, you'll be able to come in here. You'll be able to check and see how the ads are performing. You can reboost ads. Um, so there was a question here in the chat about can you boost sold properties at the moment I don't have a sold ad type, but one way you can do that is by actually going in here and any of your ads that you've already run, you can run them again. And I'll show you in a couple of minutes why I find that really important because you can go back and you can see which ads are performing really, really well and you can uh, you can boost those ads again. So uh, I'll come back to that in a couple of minutes, but uh, that sort of gives you an idea on how we go about running Property Boost. So we'll come back to our, our presentation. And the next thing I wanna talk about here is how do we follow up on these leads that are coming in from Property Boost? So um, you know, what are some tactics and some best practices we can use to make sure we're maximized what, we were, uh, what we're um, getting out of our investment into Property Boost? So a couple of things I wanted to, before we get started on talking about this, there's a couple of things I want you to remember as we look for, look forward to this. So the thing to keep in mind is that these are homeowners and renters who thought that this property looked interesting while they saw it on Facebook. They may have been scrolling through their feed, looking for pictures of their friends, kids, and their family, and and reading about their favorite sports teams and things like that. And all of a sudden, here we go. They're 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 faced with an ad that now they're registering some interest into. So your approach on, for these leads needs to be low pressure. 
What I want you to do is provide value for days or weeks or months or even years. And if you do that, then you're going to have a good percentage of them come back to work with you. These aren't the hottest leads in the world. Um, you know, these uh, the, you will see uh, really hot leads coming through, but uh, you know, these are typically early cycle people that are early in their buying cycle that are registering some interest in Facebook. And it's all about how we follow up to make the most of these. So a couple of tactics that we can use, and I'll, I'll demonstrate a little bit of this too for you uh, through KD Core. So how to, how to follow up with these property boost leads and, and using these low pressure tactics. So a couple of things, first and foremost, calling and texting, make it about following up on the action you've just performed. So for example, you know, using the type of script that you see here on the screen, you know, hey, I just saw that you were looking at 123 Main Street online. Uh, did you get all the information you were looking for? Was I, is there any questions? I can answer you or, you know, hey, I, I saw you looking at 123 Main Street. Are you a homeowner or a renter? Getting those conversations started uh, through that initial conversation and that initial text message or phone call, depending on how you choose to go about doing it, uh, is a good way to open that door to a conversation. The next tactic, so if you want to sort of take this to the next level and, and sort of increase your return on your, your property boost investment would be to set up some automated hashtag alerts inside of KD Core. So what this means is that you're, uh, you automatically tag your contact, sorry, your contacts coming in from property boost leads are automatically going to be tagged with the hashtag. And that hashtag is going to be something along the lines of PB and then 15 characters of the property address. So you'll know exactly which property people are uh, registering interest into. So you already know all the details up front. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up an automated alert so that all of those people that are coming in, all of those leads are automatically getting new listings in their inbox. And you can do this a couple of ways. Uh, if you are confident that you're going to remember 15 characters of the address, you can wait for that, or you can wait for that first lead to come in and see that hashtag, and then use your search alerts in marketing autopilot. Uh, and then you're going to set them up based on the hashtag, or maybe all of your property boost leads. So we'll switch over to KD Core now for a second, and I'll just give you an idea of how to go about doing this. So I'll switch back to my dashboard. Um, and then if I go into my smart CRM, maybe I'll see it right on my home screen here when it comes up. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to go into Smart CRM and I've already created a, a contact to show you what these leads look like. So inside of my uh, dashboard, I've got this first lead in here called Facebook Shopper, uh, who is a test lead. And a couple of things you'll see is there's that hashtag. They, they, they registered interest at PB140 McDonald. CRE, which is my address, but that's the ad that they responded to. Uh, and you can see that the source over here is, is, is tagged with property boost. So um, that's how you'll be able to identify them. You've got all that information coming in from Facebook. And then the next thing you're going to do is I want you to go into marketing autopilot. And inside of marketing autopilot, we're going to use this search alerts feature. So if we clicked on search alerts, we can actually set up a, uh, an automated search alert based on that hashtag. So you can do it two ways. You can either say, I want to create a search alert for any property boost listing that comes in. So anything that has that source of property boost, or maybe you want to do it specifically against that listing. So what we do is we're, you're going to do it the same way regardless, but we're going to go into this auto assign search alerts, create alert. And then what you're going to do is you're going to search for your hashtag. So I can actually say property boost. And that's going to be uh, bringing in all of my property boost leads, or I can say PB140 McDonald Crescent. And then what I can do is I can specify the area. So maybe I'll, I'll pick the city for this one. Maybe I want to uh, you know, put it into the number of bedrooms and bathrooms or so other four bedroom homes in this neighborhood in the same price range. And then when I hit add alert, basically every single lead that comes in that has that hashtag will automatically get set up for that search alert. So that's the first sort of like supercharged uh, tactic there that I'll share with you. The other thing that, whoops, uh, that I'll do is if we go back to our presentation, 
The next thing we're going to do is to take this to the next level. So we're going to level up again from creating those automated search alerts is we're going to do a short one or two uh, email campaign or text campaign uh, about the property specifically, you know, make it specific to your ad, for example. You can automate that initial outreach uh, by text message. So remember, we've got this really great sort of opening line here. Whoops. We're going to go, uh, we're going to ask them if they got all the information they needed. We're going to use smart campaigns to set that up for you as well. Um, and then uh, at least do some automation for that initial response, like I said. So doing that, again, we're going back to Marketing Autopilot. And we're going to click on the Smart Campaigns. And I've already got one set up for us, so we don't have to go through all the steps. But basically what we're doing here, and I'll, I'll open it up and as soon as it opens. My internet is very slow today. That's why my camera is off now. Uh, I've got this one that I created called Property Boost Follow-Up. So I'll walk you through this one really quickly. Doop, doop, doop. If I click on it. And what this is going to do, this is a really simple campaign. It's triggered off of new leads with the source of Property Boost. And I'm going to set up uh, this first contact, um, which basically is just a quick text message saying, um, it's a quick text message that I, I created that's saying, um, you know, hi, uh, I see you, you looked at my property online. It's, did you get all the information? And as soon as that uh, lead comes in, that text message is going into uh, that person's uh, text message inbox. So that's another really quick tactic that you can use, just sort of create those campaigns. It's really easy to add actions and emails. If I wanted to create like a whole campaign against this with you know emails and everything else, it's all inside of KB Core, makes it super easy for you to do. Okay, last but not least, if you want to sort of go into what Ryan uh, Hartman refers to as beast mode, this is where you're going to set up, send off one off email blast with updates on the listing. So anytime you have additional information coming in about that listing, you're going to share it with everybody who responded. And the way you're going to do that is you're going to go into KB Core inside of your smart campaigns and you're going to look for those hashtags. So if I just search for, I'm going to search real quick. I'm going to filter down. Come on. Just to PB140. Oops. I got to do the hashtag. I'm no KB Core expert. There we go. I'm going to find all of the people that responded to that to that ad. I'm going to select them and I'm going to send a mass email or a mass text, giving them additional information that may have come in since they last inquired. So whether it's an open house, a price reduction, maybe if the property sells, we want to make sure that we're taking advantage of that opportunity to get in front of all those people who registered some interest in that property. And what that does is twofold. It's giving you sort of another reason to outreach and talk to those people, but it's also giving you an opportunity to expand your uh, sort of impression with them as to what kind of an agent you are. So if they're not working with an agent, you know, you're showing that you're on top of things, you're you know, marketing that property, you're trying to get the most information into the hands of people who are interested. So it really sort of helps to you know, put your best foot forward to make sure that people are looking at you uh, and how you do things. So, all right. So moving on. So the next thing I always like to say, wrap it up, Cameron, because I tend to talk a lot and move things through things pretty quickly. So I'm going to wrap this up for you a little bit and then we'll get into some questions. So basically, why should I use property booths? How is this going to help my business? So first and foremost, this is exposure for your listings on social media. Um, you know, these ads appear in the Facebook feed of prospective buyers, homeowners um, and renters. So it's really um, a, a low effort uh, opportunity for them to click through. Uh, they're not really interrupting somebody, although you're sort of interrupting their feed. It's not sort of a, you know, intr intrusive uh, kind of interruption. It's really, really low effort for them to connect. Um, you're going to generate leads, and we all know that we love those. Uh, typically, you're getting a pretty low cost per lead out of Property Boost as well. Um, you know, probably in the five to ten dollar range overall. We see on average we're sitting around seven dollars per lead, which is pretty good. Uh, they're also very high quality, so um, you know, with good contact information coming through. So because of that lead form ad, where that information is pre-filled, you're getting really good quality leads coming in. Um, these also look really great to your prospective sellers, like I said. So you should so make this part of your um, 
make this part of your, your listing presentation and say, uh, you know, I'm going to right away, as soon as the listing is active, I'm going to boost that listing on Facebook. I'm going to get it in front of people and I'm going to invest some dollars into that. Um, I can also, you know, put them, put you on to that email campaign. So you're going to see those, those reports coming through. So you're really standing out, showing that you're putting your money out forward uh, to help to, uh, to generate the, the best uh, outcome for that. Uh, by using the seller's email address and phone number on that report, you're going to uh, dazzle your sellers and make sure that they're getting lots of great information. You're continually reinforcing why they chose to work with you. Um, and again, you can reboost these property boost ads again. Um, uh, the listings that perform really, really well on Facebook, you know, you can boost them again and again and continue driving traffic to your website and generating new leads on these listings, even if they're old, even if they've sold, uh, you are bringing people in. Um, and I'll show you a tip on that in a couple of minutes. I'll just recap again the pricing. So pricing for this starts at about 45 bucks for a three-day boost. I would say starting at, at one week is probably your best bet, your best value, uh, because it is running long enough that you're maximizing. If you want to see sort of the, the typical number of leads that are coming in and the lead cost at that lead cost, one week is a good place to start. Um, I would also recommend that you start off with a one week boost and see how it goes. And if your uh, listing performed very, very well, boost it again, as opposed to starting off with a high number of weeks, um, you know, boost it, um, you know, with a multiple short term ones um, and, uh, and make sure that that, um, that ad is performing for you. Again, you've got price options right up to $240 for five week boost. Uh, you get a bit of a price break on a per week cost at about three weeks um, where the price comes down and you're saving about 30 bucks there. Um, but, uh, but one week is really good value to get started. And the reason I suggest that we take a look at that boost dashboard uh, from time to time and see how things are performing is because you can see here the kind of uh, performance that we're seeing on some of these. These are not typical in terms of, uh, you know, uh, these are the highest performing ads that we've had in the last little while. But, you know, you can see this top one here is a, is a listing uh, that got uh, 18,000 impressions. That's 18,000 eyeballs that are seeing this a property on Facebook and generated 256 leads. And those leads came in at a, at a, a cost of only 47 cents per lead. So really, really good performance coming in off of some of these uh, property boost ads. It's not typical, like I said, um, obviously you're gonna see anywhere, the average cost per lead is around $7. Uh, but, uh, but you could get some really, really good performing ones. And then I would say, if you see that happen where you're getting lots of leads coming in on a, a particular property, boost that one again, because it's going to generate some good traffic for you as well. All right. Uh, well, that is the time that we have for today. I wanted to thank you all for joining me. And uh, so asking all these questions, it was some really fantastic questions today. So uh, thank you again for all of your time and attention. Um, and I really hope that you get some use out of Property Boost and uh, in the future, you'll see some great success with it. So thank you very much and I uh, hope you join us for another webinar soon.